Miguel and Ronnie back here at the iBot Vaults, and uh, we're going to go to October 23rd in Bellator. We're going to do an MMA blog about Bellator 144 here up at the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. The main card obviously going to air on Spike TV. The uh, full event, the live event, has 13 fights. We'll get four of them on TV, so if you're in the area, go check out the live event. But uh, we're going to go through the lines right here for the main card. The headlining bout has the middleweight title on the line as Brandon Halsey returns. He's 9-0, and uh, he's a big favorite at minus 1050 over Rafael Carvalho. Carvalho brings a good record, 11-1. Uh, he just he hasn't been as impressive as Halsey, and I think that the line reflects that. The over-under is 1.5 with the over paying 100 plus 100, and the under paying minus 130, so this was not expected to go the distance, it appears. Um, the rest of the main card is interesting. A couple of wide lines. There's one real interesting fight with a nice tight line on the card to give credit to Bellator matchmakers. And, uh, but uh, we got a couple of welterweight bouts. You got Brennan Ward returning. He's a huge favorite at minus 1,300 over Dennis Olsen. These are a pair of three-round fights. Uh, the over-under is one and a half with the over at plus 140 and the under minus 170. The other welterweight bout sees Charlie Ontiveros come in as a big underdog at plus 800 to Michael Page, who's at minus 1475. The over-under there is one and a half with the over at plus 180 and the under at minus 240. And this is the bad match that I think is interesting. It's a featherweight, 145 pounds, a uh, little international flavor for Bellator. Two young guys from Japan with a lot of fights. Pretty equal records, nice resume, nice matchup here. You have Isao Kobayashi, he's 26, and Kobayashi comes in with a lifetime record of 18, 2, and 4. It's a lot of fights. Kobayashi's at plus 150, a slight underdog, and he is facing Goiti Yamauchi. Yamauchi, a real interesting prospect. He is 18 and 2 overall, and he's 22 years old. Again, a lot of fights for a young for uh, that point in his career. He comes in at the minus, one fa uh, minus 180 favorite, rather, and the over-under is 2.5 with the over at minus 180 and the under at plus 150. So that's expected to be a technical battle. Uh, like I said, if you're up in Connecticut, check out the live event. The live event's October 23rd at the Mohegan Sun. If not, you want to check out the main fights on Spike TV. Talk to you after the fights.